Guys, hi, it's my pleasure as usual to introduce you to another legend personal trainer, actually, sorry, holistic personal training coach. And I'm going to get the summary of that maybe a little bit incorrect. Joe's a holistic personal trainer. And when I met her, she already had some really big packages. In other words, they're worth a lot and they help a lot of people. She has an enormous amount of qualifications that go really deep into analyzing blood chemistry and all kinds of interesting things for humans to help them get super healthy super quickly where the other medical rest of the medical system may have failed them so you might have qualifications like that as well what didn't seem to be sitting when from joe and i'll let you talk in a second joe from what i when i met joe was that she wasn't overwhelmed with clients you know i'm correct me if i'm wrong joe but you've said your biggest months were like five to eight thousand dollar months now i know people would be thinking well that would be great for me but what we've managed to do in the last 90 days is more than times five that, as you mentioned. Is there anything else? How should I introduce you, Joe? What would you tell people like in the public eye that you actually do? Um, I think you've, you've actually um, introduced me quite well because, yeah, I just say I'm a holistic pe personal trainer and people say, well, what is that? And yeah, it is around the blood chemistry and the knowledge about the hormonal health as well as the the appropriate personal training um, that that goes with that. Um, yeah, it's 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 a different form of personal training in that it's not that smash them up, you know, um, hit training. It's not that. It needs to be very perceptive around the needs of the client. Um, there's also an additional focus on health coaching and mindset coaching. So. Um, some of my clients are um, um, trying to lose weight and haven't been able to in the mainstream system or um, feel that their body is letting them down um, or that they're just so very, very tired um, and they don't want to live like that. So I help them get their, get their zing back. Yeah, because Joe right. has got a lot of mojo, I thought you were going to say then. You do have a lot of mojo <laughs> to the point yeah. where people would be inspired to be 10% as enthusiastic as, and energetic as you. And actually, one of the projects that you've launched is, you know, hiking, which is your other passion. So you've got this group of people over here that you help that are really poor in the health situation that they're in. And hiking is this other love and passion. I remember you said that you wanted yeah. to be able to make, somehow make a living out of that because that's the ultimate thing that gets your juices flowing. But you couldn't see how to do it without being a guide or a travel agent. And you, neither of those were turning mm. you on. So we'll talk about yeah. how you launched those projects in a second because that's very exciting. Yeah. Joe's taking people to Milford Sound early next year. So before <laughs> we started together, was there any moment of final frustration or rock bottom that you hit when you decided that's it, I've got to do something about it, and then you went on the search for help? Yeah, um, I've invested heavily in my own education um, for years. And, like, there's a point where, like, it doesn't help to know more and more. Um, it's really mm. about getting your message out there and um, I'd even done a lot of reading on, on marketing. Um, I know, Kate, you were always impressed of my handle of some terms like lead magnet and so on that, you know, I really have invested a lot of time and energy in marketing. And really, you know, unless it's bringing in lots of people, it's not fun if you're spending time doing anything and not getting results. Um, mm. So really for, for me it's like, you know, this people do have degrees in marketing. I don't. Um, and at the end of the day, it's not my passion. Um, you know, my my gift, I guess, is to is to work with um, people um, and and help them with their health. And the more I do on marketing, the less time I have for that. And it wasn't bringing in clients anyway. So, <laughs> you know, I'd given mm. it a good crack for a good number of years, but really, you know. It's just like, there's got to be a simpler way. It has to be a simpler way. That's interesting that you mentioned that, you know, there's people that have degrees in marketing. Had you been helped before? I mean, I've been helped before by people with degrees in marketing and it hasn't actually helped because it's very different running your own gig to how they would approach a corporate company as well. 
Yeah, I, I think, um, yes, I had had some help and I've been through many programs on knowing your target market um, mm. and, you know, knowing your why and your bigger purpose and so on. Um, but really, you know, I knew my why backwards. <laughs> mm. um, and it was, it came down to the nitty gritty of, of, of words and images mm. um, that, you know, I felt I was doing a smashing job and people would say to me, go, you're all over, you know, Facebook. And it's like, yeah, I am. Um, but the phone was always, you know, quite quiet. And when it did <laughs> ring, I would generally sign people up. But still, you know, I, mm. I have more to give. I had more to give. And, um, yeah, I wanted to to just live out what I think I'm here for and, and that's helping people who are quite complex in their health needs um, and mad keen hikers. Um, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, just trying to, to maximise what I can do for other people and yeah. not split the little stuff. Mm. It's good, actually. It's interesting. Girls are always told to focus on the one thing, stop doing the shiny object syndrome, but many of us have mm. multiple projects and I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. As long as you can capitalise on it, like you said, and you thought you were capitalising on it and same, I, for the first couple of years of my career, thought I knew about marketing, but a couple yeah. of words makes a difference, doesn't it? Yeah, so it does. Yeah. When you've, you've sceptically tried it, as in yeah. I say that because I even told a story on social media earlier about you like before, just just after you had one of your wins, I said, you know, she had these wins and then I went into the mindset of it because what you've been doing is actually doing a lot of work on yourself as well as doing the to-do list. Yeah. yeah. Now, sceptically you tried it, would you say? The mindset stuff? No, sceptically, sorry, sceptically you jumped in and did the course with me. With you? Would you, you say you were sceptical? Um, yeah. I, I, I think I initially it's just like I, I was looking around really for, for marketing experts and, and I, I met one woman and um, no follow-up, um, connected really well on the phone with another coach, no follow-up, um, you know, and I was literally there ready to sign. <laughs> With both these chicks and for marketing people to not follow up I just thought that was not a good sign um, but it was a colleague of mine that was um, working with you and she gave you a good rap and um, yeah connections everything um, so I started following you and started applying your your free tips and it's just like oh my god I just got just got a client <laughs> Yeah, and, Actually, that, I I times, and I just thought, um, yeah, okay, you're um, you're worth the money, Kate. <laughs> I think I'll give you a crack. Oh, um, so you did quite a bit of research. Oh yeah, I'm big on on yeah. Really, I don't really make gut decisions. Um, I, I think things through and examine. So. Mm. Um, yeah, so I don't make gut decisions. I actually do because it felt good and felt right, and it was, yeah. We, yeah, we all do. Everyone does both. Yeah. So were you happy with the amount of immediate wins that you got, even though it might have been changing a word here and there, changing your mindset, the way you approach things? I know you feel, it even feels now talking to you like it just business is much more relaxed. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, the wins, like I, I have my my sort of my my mainstream business, um, and I also had my little project that I ideally wanted this New Zealand trip to happen. I wanted to make money from from hiking. So my first month with you was really working out the right words to get people to connect with what I was offering and my approach um, and all my clients were saying, oh, what are you doing? You know, like it's different what you're putting out there. So people were recognising that and I was getting new leads um, and some of it was really, really easy advice. It was just like lots of people know you're a holistic PT but they don't really know what that is. So I started actually just describing that to people um, and like immediately I got two people on, on high-end packages. Um, 
just like that. Like, you know, it was my financial advisor and his wife who was just... <laughs> and he was just like, oh, I suppose you want to, you know, outsource all your classes. And I said, I'm just going to stop you right there. I don't have classes. I have, you know, very focused um, and um, tailored services in a, um, you know, I gave him the speech, you know, in a private, beautiful private studio mm -hmm. in a bush setting. <laughs> um, and, you know, not everybody can come. It's not a mainstream thing. It's not a mainstream approach. It's really hard for me to find someone to do what I do because, you know, it's a mm. specialised skill and he's, you know, rant, 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 rant. And he just looked at me and he said, you're hired. <laughs> it's like, holy crap. <laughs> like, Amongst I mean, the plenty of other celebrities who are now training. Sorry, Pardon? I talked at the top of you. Sorry, I said amongst the many other celebrities that have come out of the woodwork in your town for you to be training. Yeah, yeah, mm. there's a bit of that. <laughs> a little bit of that. She's been picked up by the media now, folks, which means that the next thing is we're going to get her into national media. So watch this space. I keep saying, don't forget us when you're famous. She said, don't forget me. <laughs> yeah, it's it's good. Were you would you say that overall you'd be happy with the level of support, especially considering you've had. And I know you choose quality because I've met somebody in your last coaching realm, in, in words of Ange, which that course doesn't run anymore. But we're yeah. happy with the level of service because it is a big deal. I just, oh, was I happy with it? I was thrilled by it, really. Like, you know, like working in the fitness industry, there's a lot of, um, you'll like this analogy, but there's a lot of sizzle. And not much sausage. <laughs> yes, there is. Oh, like an old client I saw post the other day, he said, what's this? I went to the electoral roll and made an election and there was no sausage. Where was my hot sausage? <laughs> I had to go via Bunnings or I felt like I hadn't voted. There's a lot of sizzle and no sausage. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I'll quote that. <laughs> yeah, so you can, yeah, you can quote Definitely, me on that. there's definitely no sausage. Sizzle. <laughs> Yep. No, sausage. Whoops. Sorry. It's it's sausage. Sausage. But anyway, um, yeah, like like to be specific for anyone yeah. that is watching, um, you're in our support group um, twice a day, so morning and night. Um, so literally um, I, would, I would put together a really good post and then I'd put it in the group. And initially, Kate would completely turn it on its head. So um, rewrite it, literally. And I know that she does this for everybody, whether they've got high-end clients or, um, you know, or they're just, um, you know, got that trying to get their boot camp running or something, you know, like just that attention to detail um, is priceless. And and over the three months, you get better at it. But you have your... your um, your phone call weekly also and I you know I thought well that'll be you know 10 10 minutes of touch time and it was often you know it was quite extended um because I milk you for every bit of energy I can get from you <laughs> um there's but, unlimited yeah, resources Joe, because I'm um, used yeah. to having 12 contact clients in a day yeah On, online people aren't used to that it does make them exhausted but now I'm like Where's the next 50 I could yeah. love? Like yeah. you guys. Sorry, yeah. I talked. Exactly. But, yeah, no, the level of support was magnificent. <laughs> Thanks. Because people should be worried. I know I've been in a lot of programs, often where there's 200 people, like you said, 10 minutes, if that, of touch time. But that's fine. Yeah. You get to get your questions answered. If you're in the right time zone, I know the last course I did, it was 3 a.m. call times. Right. Our time, 3 a.m. But it doesn't matter. I yeah. got up and got on it. 250 people on each call. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. So yeah. fast forward to today. I mean, if you're – what what did you get out of the course? And then fast forward to today because I know that, like, often things grow in a bell curve. With yours, it was very quick bell curves. Yes. Yep. And I insist on tracking, as much as sometimes it sounds very fairy, I still insist on tracking numbers and finance with you guys because you do come in and go, I want to hit 100K or I need to hit 10K a month. And then you yep. often surprise yourself by one of the girls the other day is, you know, paying for the private school fees. So you happen to sell out a New, a New Zealand retreat, 
while you're yeah. in the course. Yeah. What other results did you get? And then how's life today? Yeah, I, I think um, um, just the confidence that um, having that big vision of how you want to live your life, <coughs> excuse me, is really important. And, and like I am really keen um, about hiking. I have a hiking charity. Um, and, which is quite separate from wanting to take, a, you know, a, create a high-end um, situation in another country. Um, so it's just a confidence that I can mm. actually live this life of um, hanging out with really cool people who are paying me to take them somewhere awesome. Mm. That's, like, that's possible now. That's that's. It's not only possible, it's booked. It's in the diary. Um, yeah, so I'm not a guide. Um, you know, I'm a leader. So we're utilising other organisations. They've got the leaders. Oh, sorry, they've got the guides and they've got all the risk. <laughs> and I just find mm -hmm. the beautiful people to come with me and, like, wow, you know, like, that's just the stuff I've just listened to other people talking about and now it's me. So having that that ultimate life happening is just like, yeah, I'm not done yet. I'm still, oh, no, I've still no got way. more to go. But on, on a more serious note, like I could see that the process that Kate was putting me through and, and um, I was a little bit nervous about um, like creating some community events because I'd done it before and it hadn't been successful. But um, Kate made me focus on it more and, and it came together and I had good numbers um, at those events. And then I could see that um, the audience were very engaged um and and my social media like people too you know like i'd go out training my kids with something and they'd say you're going to new zealand um or like oh you know a lot about thyroid you know can you tell me a bit more you know it just gave me a real identity and a real focus so it made me realize that i mm. probably even though i could train people in so many different ways with so many complexities it made me narrow that focus and marketing 101 is the more specialised you are, um, you know, the, the easier it is to sell your message. Mm. Um, and I, I remember years ago being nervous about saying that I was a women's only trainer. And, you know, now it's got down to, you know, like the pointy end <laughs> of women's issues, um, you know. A really defined audience and the audience grows under that condition yeah. whereas I, I always thought that was retracting my potential to earn but it doesn't it's Fit been enough. very quick quick very quick lessons with you you've focused you really have focused and having said that you've still got you know th three or four target niches because you have other programs as well. let things go. <laughs> and there's nothing we're all a little bit multitasking here because we're yeah. chicks. Yeah. And there's nothing worse than being told that you have to do it one way. You can be the hike expert, thyroid, autoimmune person, go to that's associating with doctors and now getting interviewed on the radio and yeah. It doesn't actually really matter. So there's no boundaries. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? Well, just on that radio gig, like um, with my charity, we have struggled so hard to get media. Um, and the media gigs that we were getting were like 5.30 in the morning, you know, like they, it was harsh. Um, and you're always wondering, you know, is it worth it and so on. And I started um, putting out some community seminars on, um, on hiking and, and preparation for hiking, physical preparation as well as gear stuff. Um, and... We had a blizzard down in um, in Hobart, in Tassie, um, central Tassie, like, you know, 10 days ago we had a blizzard and people were stuck out and um, they wanted to, you know, workshop this in on the radio and they rang me and it was just like, gosh, we worked so hard to get media. We worked so hard and often it comes to nothing. Like I've won national awards and, you know, like crickets. No one wants to talk about that. But... Yeah, there was a disaster, um, a guy lost who was thankfully found and then suddenly 
yeah, they're ringing me. And then, like, can you come in at 7.30? And it's like, well, not really because I've got clients. <clears throat> and they said, can you do it over the phone? Like, we really need you. It's like, hmm, okay, so over the phone it is. Do that. <laughs> Um, yeah. Having them chase me was a nice change. <laughs> Suits wow. Me. It's good. It's like take, take a number. You'll be booked out until the end of August. So because, I mean, Joe works by herself. She doesn't have an enormous amount of contractors or a big gym. We really have just aimed to get her as busy as possible and obviously utilise her larger dollar packages. So yep. on the money front, how would you say it's impacted that? Um, well, for my investment, I think I, I can literally say I got my investment back times seven or eight, maybe, in the three-month period. Yeah. So, like, I've now I've got this skill set, I've got this clarity around how to move forward. Um, yeah, I have all of that. And I have, you know, a fair bit of dosh in the bank. <laughs> I thought you were pointing at the kids. And she's no. got kids and a husband that lets her go on retreats. So good team. Oh, yeah. That's that's kind of cool. And the dosh in the bank. Yeah. That's the <laughs> bank. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's, that's sitting there because I now have to pay GST because my income has gone up there and immediately like it was just like you know I was thinking oh, I might have to pay GST next year and then it was like I'm not going to get out this financial year like last financial year like and I'm ringing accountants and I'm going I don't know like she said oh you're going to limp over the line I said I'm more than limped over the line like I'm six figures and it's still going <laughs> she's like holy crap what's happened it's like this marketing chick <laughs> Um, so not just marketing, though, I have to say, it's the creation of, of everything. So with you it was marketing because that was the bit that needed work on. Yeah. Most of the time people don't have a big product or an offer. What we're talking yeah. about, guys, in terms of that is that what what is the dollar value of what you offer? Is it like a boot camp, free stuff, $10, $20? Is it around the 60 to 80 to $90 mark where you do one-on-one -on -one stuff or do you do groups which are in between and or yeah. then do you have bigger priced options? And I'm, no, I'm not talking about people buying 12 months up front because that's like bloody obvious. If you haven't tried that before, do it. But otherwise, other things that, that give you leverage for time. That other things that give you leverage for time because especially if you're in Joe's situation, she's unique in that she's the only one delivering it. So every situation is unique. Yours is unique, but you can definitely capitalise on it. Please message me on here if you've got any questions about this or how it could be applicable to you. Is there anything that you want to end with, Joe, times seven or times eight? There's so many shorthand things. Um, I, could tell you. I, I just think... You, you made a point of this a couple of times and um, and that's like sometimes the best wins are like you kick, kick, kick me out of my room. You know, I said, oh, I'm just like, the, I'm not getting the calls. And you said, go for a bushwalk. It's like, great. <laughs> just doing what I'm told. <laughs> or, you know, do some mantra work, do some relaxation, do some meditation. Um, and really getting that into into my life has been enriching um, because you you tackle everything from a state of calm and it's just like you know just keep calm um, so yeah that's um, that's part of Kate's approach is this you know like journal it um, meditate it write it out how you want it to be and um and be calm about it and yeah have have make a make a good life it's not just about work it's about being calm and and having good relationships with your people and all that and that's happened too so that's good <laughs> <laughs> good relationships with your family people do you mean with your clients yeah yeah with everyone yeah, if, you, if you're just living from a point of calmness um, you know, we, if you're frantic about the numbers of people coming, like you just have to trust that the process you're going through is right and that the right people will see it at the right time and they will come. And that's hard when, you know, I remember you saying, 
at one point. It doesn't matter if this New Zealand thing doesn't happen because, you know, because it doesn't it doesn't matter. Like you've got the energy out there, you know, it's about getting the mm -hmm. energy out there. And I just thought, <gasps> you don't care. It doesn't matter. I was just like, but it did. No, 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 just, we just needed to take the pressure together. off you because that was an insane six weeks. That's yeah, fun. it was a really full on six weeks, but yeah, but you're just taking charge of my social media. So not saying go and watch Google videos on how to. That's what Kate does. She doesn't say go and Google it. She does it for you, with you, and it's done. And then you go and have a glass of wine at the end of the day. <laughs> or run a seminar with 10 bottles of wine like some of you girls do. But anyway. Yeah, that's not that and <laughs> no, it's not you. Thank you so much. It's been an absolute oh, pleasure to work with you as usual. Sure. Yeah. Um, cheers. We will have to have another glass of wine or a glass of wine at the end of the day. And okay, cheers sure. for the future. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And or see you when you fly to the city. And it's <laughs> and it's not the end. <laughs> no. It's not the end of us working together. <laughs> it's not, really not the end. There's more. Look out for phase two, guys. Yeah. <laughs> phase two. If Joe, if I can get an appointment with Joe because, you know, news, media and radio are up taking her time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.